Hello! Hey, um, firstly I want to apologise for wearing a snapback. Don't like snapbacks. Don't think this is even mine, but I'm having a bad hair day and so that you guys still got your video this week, I thought I'd put on a snapback for you, make your video, aren't I nice? Anyone? Nope, okay. This week's video is gonna be about lesbian terminology. <laughs> but this week is just words used by the lesbian community to describe different lesbians. And first off, let's clear this up. <laughs> lesbian is a woman who is sexually attractive to another woman. And guys, as much as you try, having sex with them will not turn them straight. <laughs> is dyke. If a straight person uses this, it's seen as derogatory and it's seen as offensive to lesbians. But a lot of lesbians actually call themselves dykes and they use it just as another word for lesbian. It is femme. Now this is also referred to as a lipstick lesbian. These lesbians are the invisible gays. So they're the girly ones, the ones with all the makeup, the ones with the dresses and the skirts and they're the ones that generally get mistaken for as straight. They probably suffer the least hustle of all the lesbians because it's easier for them to get on with life without being noticed as gay. Yes, that is a femme. Is butch. Now, butch lesbians are normally the ones that are more masculine. They're normally the more manly looking, the ones who wear the men's clothes and are very flat chested, no makeup, things like that. They're normally the ones that you see wearing a flannel shirt. But yeah, they're the more manly of the lesbians. And they are the ones with the short haircuts as well, and things like that. And they probably get the most hassle. In between, a femme and a butch is a what is known as a chapstick lesbian. Basically what chapstick means is that you're more to the feminine side, the femme side of the scale, and you'll still wear dresses and maybe a little makeup or something, a little concealer or something, but you still have So that is what is meant by a chapstick lesbian. That's generally what I think people describe me as, and that is also known as footch. Butch means like in between femme and butch, but that is like deadly in between. Lip chapstick is more to the femme side, whereas footch is directly in between. A gold star lesbian. A gold star lesbian is a lesbian that has never slept with a man and has no intention of sleeping with a man. They've always known they were gay and they will never, ever try it with a man. A lone star lesbian is a lesbian that has only ever been with one person, one girl. That can also happen in straight relationships and stuff. You can be with one person for your whole life and that is known as a lone star. Now it gets a little more sexual. We have the stone butch. These are normally the butch lesbians and the more masculine lesbians and they are the ones that go down. And they normally fit very well with a pillow queen which is normally the more feminine of the lesbians in a lesbian relationship and she doesn't go down lug and that is LEG and that stands for lesbian until graduation now these are normally the girls that experiment until they leave college or university <laughs> they fall around with girls at parties and stuff and they end up marrying a man 
and lugs can break your heart. <laughs> um, similar to a lug is a hasbeam, and they are straight girls who have previously identified as lesbian but are now sleeping or in a relationship with men and claim to not be lesbian anymore. Baby dyke. I don't like the word dyke, but baby dyke. Baby lesbian, if you want. And that's a young lesbian, normally around the teen years, so like, I don't know, 15 to 19, who is just coming out of the closet. You can also have like a baby lesbian or a baby dyke at like any age, and it's just someone who's just coming out of the closet and is just getting comfortable with their sexuality. Okay, so that was my little lesbian terminology video. And let me know if you want me to do some more terminology videos. I quite enjoy it, it's quite cool learning about like other terminologies other than what you know. I had to research a lot of them, I didn't know what half of them were. <laughs> Once again I apologise for the bad appearance and stuff. As you know I've got exams coming up and packing for Spain and stuff. But yeah, I will do some more videos soon. And today's goodbye will be in Greek and that is, how do you say it? Adio. Adio. Thank you to Google Translate. <laughs>